Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the troubleshooting steps on a Lenovo Legion if your computer is not turning on. If you try to turn it on and it's completely dead, no signs of life, or if you're getting very quick signs of life, if you hear some noises, see some lights, but nothing's on the screen and it won't turn on, that's what I'm showing you how to troubleshoot. If you can see anything on the screen at any point, either the Lenovo sign or a spinning thinking sign, if that's happening but the computer's not turning on, that's a separate issue. I call that a boot loop issue. There'll be a video link below in the description on how to troubleshoot that, but this is just if your computer's not turning on, nothing on the screen. So the first thing I'm gonna show you how to troubleshoot is for a power buildup issue. There are components on your motherboard that sometimes build up a charge that shouldn't be. This can affect how your computer runs. It can even stop your computer from turning on at all. So I'm going to walk you through how to drain that power. So first thing you want to do, unplug your computer, get the charger out, and remove your battery. If your Lenovo Legion has an easily removable battery, great, but the one that I had had an internal battery, so I'll show you guys how to remove that. Okay, so we have two screws on either side here, two screws here, these two in the middle, and that one in the middle. And then we have these two right there on top in the middle. We're gonna take all the screws out. After the screws are removed, we're gonna take our small flat pry tool. We're gonna to go across the seam and pry the bottom case up off the computer. So this battery is held in by these two screws here that I can see, this one here, this one here. It looks like that's all the screws and then it plugs into the motherboard there. So let me go ahead and remove those screws first. So this plug right there, it plugs into your motherboard and it looks like there's small grips on either side. So I have my small flat plastic pry tool. I'm gonna to see if I can push that battery port out. No, I cannot. So I am gonna to have to pull on the cord a little bit, unfortunately. Let me get this battery up. Nice and slow, wiggle it out. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. That came out easily. I now, not all Lenovo Legions are the same. If you guys are having trouble getting in to access your battery, leave me a comment with the exact model you have and I can help you out. But now that your battery is out or unplugged and your charger is unplugged, we're gonna press and hold your power button for one whole minute. After doing that, Put both of them back in. Replug in your battery, put your charger back in, and try turning the computer on. Maybe you just needed a power drain. If that works, then you know that it was just a power buildup issue. Try not to use your computer around a lot of sources of static. Um, also, make sure that it's plugged into a good, healthy surge protector and not plugged directly into the wall. Maybe you have some bad power. If that doesn't work, then we're gonna repeat the process. We're gonna take the battery out or unplug it, unplug your charger, Press the power button for one whole minute again. Now this time we're going to leave the battery unplugged. We're going to plug the charger back in. Try turning the computer on. If the computer turns on, you know most likely your battery's bad. I'd replace it. If it doesn't turn on, we're going to repeat the process again now for the battery. So we're going to unplug the charger. Press and hold the power button for one whole minute. Then we're going to plug your battery back in and leave the charger out. Try turning on your computer. If your computer turns on this time, it means your charger's probably bad, I'd replace it. Keep in mind too, with some computers, you may have to perform this power drain procedure several times before you can write it off as not being an issue. So don't give up on it the first time, try it at least two or three times. However, if this procedure doesn't help, we're gonna move into something deeper in the computer. Another thing you can check is the RAM. Sometimes if there's an issue with the RAM, it can stop the computer from turning on. So now I'll show you how you can access the RAM in this computer. The RAM is right here underneath this guard. Uh, that's not screwed down, you can just wiggle that right off. You may have to undo this tape here that's holding it down. I'll take that off. And there's your RAM right there. You have two RAM ports, and the way RAM usually works is you have spring-loaded arms on either side. The way you get the RAM out is you pry these arms apart from each other, away from the RAM stick. It'll usually pop up and then you can slide it out. So just pry them apart, and you can take the RAM out. Same thing here, pry it apart, you can take the RAM out. So here's the way you can test your RAM. 
Possibly the RAM is just loose. I would unplug each RAM stick and then insert them again, make sure they're secure and installed correctly, try to turn your computer on. If that doesn't work, then we're gonna start testing each individual RAM stick. RAM is kind of like headlights in a car. The odds that both of them go out at the same time are pretty low. So we're gonna assume at least one is good. So the way you test your RAM is take one RAM stick out, try to start your computer with the other RAM stick left in. If the computer doesn't start, we're gonna take that RAM stick that's still in the computer, we're gonna remove it and put it in the other port. And this way we're checking both ports as well. Try to turn your computer on. If your computer doesn't turn on, take that RAM stick out and then take the first one you took out and put it, try it in each one at a time. If this helps, you know one of your RAM sticks is bad. If you need help finding compatible RAM for your computer, leave me a message with your exact model and I can try to help you. If this doesn't help your computer and RAM does not turn out to be the issue, then we're continuing to narrow some things down. The next thing we'll check is your CMOS battery. If your Lenovo Legion's motherboard has a CMOS battery like mine does, we're gonna try to reset BIOS with it. Now BIOS is a computer system that has to load fully before your operating system can successfully load. The CMOS battery is responsible for powering your motherboard and BIOS even when the computer's off so there's not any errors. If something's wrong with either BIOS or the CMOS battery, it could stop your computer from turning on. CMOS battery, let's wiggle that out of here. It looks like it's come undone. That should be double-sided tape and it should stick down to the motherboard there, but it looks like that's come loose. Um, so I'll put some more tape on that. It's plugged into the motherboard right here. And that looks like a better plug than the battery. It's got two grips on either side. So you can use your fingernails and pull that right out. So to reset BIOS, you only need to leave the CMOS battery out for maybe 15, 20 seconds. That should be sufficient to reset your system. If your computer turns on after this, maybe it was just a one-time error with BIOS and it just needed to be manually reset. If this works, but your computer doesn't turn on next time. If you have to do this procedure every single time, maybe your CMOS battery's dead, I would replace it. So as far as the easy fixes into why a computer won't turn on, those are three of the most common things we can look at. Uh, the power buildup, uh, BIOS issue, RAM issue, those are the three most common. If your computer's still not powering on, you're probably looking at some more in-depth troubleshooting. In my shop, at this point, I would take the computer apart piece by piece. I would have the motherboard, the RAM, the storage, and an LCD cable to a screen hooked up, and I would power it without anything else hooked up to it. Maybe a USB board or, or the touchpad, maybe another component is shorting it out, preventing it to load. If your motherboard's still not loading up at that point, you're probably looking at a bad motherboard that needs to be replaced. So if you guys need any help from here on out, let me know. If you had any questions about anything, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment though, I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. Thank you so much for watching guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Please remember to like and share if this was helpful, if you think it can help someone else. Subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer tutorials like this. And if any of you want to support the channel a little further by leaving a small donation, there's a couple different ways you can do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note.